to Tracy and Frank. Uh, on this All right. difficult day, Robin Sheila, we appreciate uh, you keeping us updated. We're back out here live at the Holy Grail this morning. Yeah, kind of going from one extreme to the other. You know, Wayne Wayne Young is with Fox 19, and um, we were just talking about the relationship that began two years ago. Did we ever imagine it would become this? Look what it's become. It's amazing. Here it is. It's a, it's a Friday morning in April. We have a room full of people celebrating breast cancer awareness. And when we started it, the, the whole principal thought on our part as a television station was that we have the ability to move awareness beyond where it was at that time. Breast cancer is not just an October disease. It's a year-round disease. And now look what it's become. Our awareness platform, which we launched two years ago in April on the 19th, has now become something that's evolving almost every day. Just look at the groups you've had here this morning already. Right. And it's not a mom disease, it's not a grandmother disease, it's not a young person's disease, it's a disease that can hit all women. And that's what we found out when we brought the mammography band to different areas where we've come out. I mean, the stories, Wayne, you've been there with Tracy and I on these remotes that we hear from women who said, oh, I saw it, I went, I got checked, didn't think anything of it, and they found breast cancer. And it's beyond all that. It's beyond just the, the, the patients themselves. It's the family members, the caregivers, the friends, the support group. And as you see here this morning, there's a lot of people involved in that the, the journey, the path that that patient is taking as they battle breast cancer. And we celebrate all of those stories as well. And might I add, that's what you guys do so very well, which is to bring those stories to light and to put them out there for everybody to see and celebrate. You know, we're not alone. You're not alone. When you receive that diagnosis, you're not alone. And if nothing else, we've certainly illustrated, you have certainly illustrated that that's the case. You're not alone in your journey. Not at all. Well, I think when you hear that statistic, one out of every eight, I think sometimes, unfortunately, it goes in one ear and out the other. But when you stop for a moment and you look around, you see, oh, my goodness, maybe not someone directly in my family, but somebody I know. Mm -hmm. And new relationships have been brought together. I mean, we've met people that are here because they're you know, supporting a friend or a loved one or whatever. And then we see businesses that get on board, that not just Fox 19. Teacher. It could be your child's swim coach. I mean, there's so many different connections. That, not Like you said, not just the family connection. Absolutely. And, and we uh, you know, we couldn't be more proud. And I'm speaking for our general manager, Bill Lannessy, when I say that this truly is the, the singular proudest thing that we have, I've ever been a part of in, in television. Uh, where it has come to, where it has grown from, it's, it's humbling to see. And to see the participation and the support that we've gotten. Uh, one, of our, one of our sponsors, one of our partner businesses, we were here this morning sharing our own personal stories of, of health. Uh, and our family, our loved ones, and you know, we shared a few tears here this morning, and I don't think that's overstated. I, I think that that's out there in the community, and to have the ability to come together and to share that support system, that, that mechanism that this has all helped to create is it's wonderful. Even with all this awareness, if it happens to you, there's still some part of you that may feel alone. Oh, absolutely. There's no two ways around it. I, I believe once you're diagnosed, I think the, the first thing you feel is loneliness, mm -hmm. that you are in this all by yourself. What we're showing here today is you're not. Right. I think, I think when, when we look back and we say, you know, if one person went and got a mammogram, then we've done what we wanted to do. But in fact, it's been hundreds and hundreds, and we don't stop just because it's the second anniversary. You know, we have big plans. We have a lot of events coming up over the next year. And they just continue to be added to the schedule. Every Since we've started this, we've added so many different events. And again, you've seen them here this morning. Just at Kings Island alone, the extra events that have been added, the color run. It's its so exciting to watch. It's, it's almost like raising your child and watching that child grow, crawl, and then walk, and then run. We're certainly on our feet and running even as we speak here this morning. You know, it's been amazing to hear the stories of the woman who saw on Fox 19, go get your mammogram, so she did. 
breast cancer. We see new friendships being brought together because of events like this and in support for one another. They've come back and revisited us each time and said yes. thank you. So, Wayne, thank you. First big Gapper just arrived. Come over here, Gapper. Oh, well, well, that's for a very special oh. event, but that's okay. Well, Hi, Gapper. I don't know if he was looking for a beer or something. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, he's here for a big event coming okay. up, and we'll tell you about that in a little bit. We'll be right back.